turn, guys. Welcome back to um, Farm Life. So, sat in a tractor, and you've probably seen this either on my Instagram or the other YouTube video I did before. But um, we're sat currently in a John Deere 6R. So, uh, it's 200, it's 195 horsepower, but it boosts up to 248, so it's a 6195R. And we've got um, four wheel drive and diff lock on it, which I might. And then um, we've got hydraulic ram out there. Second seat, lots of storage. Uh, we've got two doors and a window and a back door and a sunroof. And there's containers and stuff, radio, um, mirrors, and then we got. Way too many controls down here. Front PTO, back PTO, revs for mowing, whatever. You can lift up and down the back three point. Uh, same with one of these, or no, it's that, up there. Don't know what they're for. We've got beacons, lights, hazards. And then you can lock it in place. So the front linkage locks in place. And then you use this to lift up and down the front linkage or back linkage or um, mowers or whatever. And then we got all different screens and stuff, which I uh, probably won't show you. Um, I'll see when we start it up in a minute. And accelerator down there, pedals, brake pedals, clutch. And then we got the steering column, try and bring down. Uh, with park and neutral, which I don't like because it's a bit of a pain getting it all around there and everything. And there's not that much point in neutral because there's no handbrake down there. I don't know what that is. Because it's an electronic handbrake. So when you put it in neutral, it's just going to roll. So there's not much point, I don't think. And you got um, your lights and stuff there. And then speedometer. And this we've managed to get up to 55k with. And then we got our... Um, Revs there, which you got times by a thousand. And you got a few lights there as well. Um, key down there, that's quite a nice place because it's just out, you know, when it's up here on some tractors, bit of a pain, or over here, bit of a pain because it's just far away. I suppose you could knock that, but it's going to be quite far for me to knock it. So I think it'll be right. And then we got indicators, horn, and then we got all different stuff down here. Um, Cup holders, one there, and there's one there and there. Um, and plenty of buttons down there, which I haven't really fiddled with because it's a right pain because it's all just a big computer and I'm not that keen on it being like that. Uh, this here, you can pull round and you can lift this up or down like that. And then we got like, um, that's for the aircon or heating all the way around there, which aren't too bad. They're a bit plasticky, but everything's plasticky these days. They're probably the strongest ones I've seen, to be honest. So that's quite good. Um, because this is actually a higher vehicle, can't remove the key for some reason. So that's a bit of a pain. We got seat with a seat belt. This one's got the seat belts as well. Back window, it's quite good because you got that to lift it up there. And you can push it out with that. So yeah. That's quite good anyway. And then, I think I said radiator, uh, radio, mirrors and stuff. Heating, I'm guessing you put a CB in there. Um, sunroof. Quite nice, nice and easy, and you can't really knock it or anything. So we'll just lift that back up there. Seat folds, folds like that, and like that, which is all right, but it's a bit of a pain sometimes. Let me just get outside the tractor. Um, four steps. And you can see it's quite a spacious cab, apart from behind the seats and stuff. So we'll just walk around the tractor. So you can see this is a higher machine. 
um, from Small Ridge, which has been quite good. That's where we got the creamer from as well. So we got, uh, what have we got in here? We got 650-65R42 tires, Michelin, so they're big, expensive tires. They probably cost a grand each. So you come to the back and you can see here, it looks pretty complicated. So you've got the pickup hitch, pretty much just the same as any other tractor, just got the link arms. Top link is nice because it's um, a oil one, a ram, so you can, hydraulic that's it, and then you can like do it on buttons and stuff. It's a bit heavy though. And we've got air brakes, I think that's ISO bus, but I'm not quite sure. And then we've also got different things here, which I'm not sure. Um, spool valves, different things, brake lights, or just lights. Um, massive rams to lift the three point up. Oil stuff, um, where's that gone? Oil box there, and then there's oil, oh, down there it says, you can't see, it's too dark, but yeah. And we got that button, which I don't know what it's called, but it's like turns the PTO a bit. And then we got the lift up and down. And same on that side. There for the hydraulic ram. Huge exhaust, which isn't hot, which is good. Another few steps here. With rubber bits. I don't know if that comes with the tractor or the dealership had done that to stop it breaking. That's windscreen wiper fluid, and we got, I think that's plus for the battery, but I'm not quite sure. And then we got two massive mirrors, double beacons, huge exhaust, funnel, whatever you want to call it. Um, indicators and lights, massive. Um, front suspension, it's also got cab suspension, which is nice. And then we come back around here. Diesel tank and add blue, which isn't that good, but I suppose it stops the emissions. It's also got toolbox in here with some stuff. Comes with the tractor. And then we've got another linkage, uh, another pickup hitch stuff to put on there as well. And we come to the front, we've got the A-frame, which I need to take off in a minute, because it's actually going back today. PTO, two more small valves, lights. You can lift it up and down there as well. Two links and top link, that's just a hand one. Um, a few different things there, I think you can like tow a chain with that. And um, just a overall, all over, not bad tractor. Obviously it's a John Deere. And it's massive. And I'm not that keen on John Deere. More of a case man or Ford, I quite like Fierce as well. And class, class isn't too bad. But what I do like about this is this top bit here because it shines and then the lights are front quite nice as well on the front there. But um, that's pretty much the tour of the tractor. All the way around. And it's a lot bigger than our Ford. As you can probably tell. Too green for my opinion. But what can you do? Um, I think we've got like oil weights on the front and also there's John Deere written all over it so probably what you're paying for more than anything and obviously we've got the A-frame on which I need to take off I think I might have said that and then big beefy mud guards which is always good so they don't break off and stuff but I think that that's pretty much it I did say the cab suspension Around there. You see the nuts on the back are huge. Way too big. Well, not way too big, but just massive. Um, so yeah, wide tires. Big track, big tractor, big tires. And um, lights all on the back. But that's uh, pretty much it for the outside of the tractor. I might just show you guys the screen quickly. Right, All right we'll start her up. 
でも Right, so we'll just take her for a little bit of a quick spin here. Got the little hay bob thing on the back. Just been trying to do some hay with it. The weather hasn't been that good, so. So, it's way too big for our yard because it's. Uh, 195 horsepower and it boosts up to 248, which I've probably already said. And the front end sticks out a lot, especially when you've got the A-frame on, like I have at the moment. And it's quite tight around our yard, especially when there's obstacles like fences and cattle crushers. The hay pop sticks out a bit, but it's way too small for this. So, you've got a buddy seat, as they say in America. Passenger seat, whatever you want to call it. And it's basically just drive it on the accelerator, foot accelerator, because this one here doesn't work. And in go 55k we've managed to get up to at the most. It says 50 on it, but 55, so that's alright. And it's very green. The interior is quite nice. It's probably not as nice as I thought it was going to be. Um, but I suppose it's a rental, so. It's not going to be that nice. I'll just uh, get out and do the um, string a second. So you've got um, full drive, diff lock, automatic diff lock, automatic full drive I believe as well. Uh, PTO and front PTO this has got as well, which is nice. Plenty of like spaces and stuff. And then we've got the back window. I don't like it because down here you've got park and then neutral and then forwards and backwards and it's a little pain. And there's no handbrake. It's like electric. It's also very bouncy. Like that. Not bad reversing, not bad steering on it either, which is nice. A lot of tractors these days don't have that great steering because of the size of them. But it's something we do have on this one. Right, I'm going to take this hay bob off quickly. And then I'll get back. Right, and we'll turn her off. So that was a nice quick test drive for you guys. So, um, yeah. Right, so then guys, just want to show you this screen quickly whilst I'm here. So, we got to activate that for anything to work.
and you can see you've got all different stuff in here which I don't know what half of the stuff does we've got a menu help isobus display and all that sort of stuff so, so that will you can see there all the different stuff I see bus. And then there's time at the top and stuff. But uh, that's pretty much it for the screen, I think. Set up stuff. And yeah. So. I think I'm going to end this video here now, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.